All right, we are gonna look at some uh, PVC pipe hitting drills here. What is this, half inch PVC pipe? Yeah. And we have uh, Tegan here, he's a hitting coach in the Baltimore Orioles organization. He's gonna show Josh a couple of these drills here. All right, so Josh, this first one here, we're just gonna step, okay? And you're gonna feel that load in your scapula. So go ahead and do a couple of those for me. Good, reset. Do it again. Good. So that, that's in his shoulder blade, you're saying? Yeah, that's I say shoulder blade to them because that's okay. they don't really know what the scapula is. So that's where he should be feeling it? Yeah, in that general area. So Josh, this next one, I want you to step and I want you to turn your lower half, okay? Really feel it back here in your scap more. Okay, go ahead and reset. Remember, when we're doing this, we don't want a lot of force, just, just enough where you feel it. Okay, go ahead and reset. Do it again for me. Okay, one more. All right, now this next one, I want you to do those two, and then I want you to bend the pole, and this is what this is gonna do. It's gonna lock our hands into position, so that way all we gotta do is turn to the ball. Okay, reset. Okay, now we wanna make sure we're bending it outward, okay? If it's bending this way, then that means we're pushing the bat, and we don't want to push the bat. We just want to lock our hands in place and go. Better. Good. Good. Give me one more. All right, good job, Josh. Now this, this next one here, we're going to stand against the net. All right, you remember this one, the Ferris wheel? So we're just going to stand against the net. We're going to make sure that this PVC pipe does not touch the net. Go ahead and... Hold it on your shoulders. There you go, just like that. And you're gonna move like a Ferris wheel, okay? So if our swing moves as a merry-go-round and this left shoulder opens up too soon, the idea is that he's gonna hit the net. We want our swings to work uh, back shoulder under this shoulder like a Ferris wheel. So go ahead and perform this one for me. That's good, you can stand a little bit farther away from the net, there you go. Good, Josh. Good. And you can also feel your backside working as well in this drill. Yeah. There you go. One more time for me. Good. Now this next one we can do, we can actually just keep it on the ground. And what we're going to do is just gonna stand here and we're just gonna get in our ready position and we're just gonna turn our hips okay this is just getting our hips warmed up feeling keeping our upper body closed while our bottom half works okay go ahead and reset go ahead and reset it's okay you, you can keep your hands out here like this and just just like this try and do it with your feet about shoulder shoulder width apart Okay, and we're not we're not turning the turning the foot. We're just gonna keep our feet straight, and we're gonna just turn. Okay, there you go. Now do the other side. We can do it all in one motion. There you go. Other side. I'm gonna come hold you. Okay, and really keep your top half locked. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Do you feel how your top half wants to go, but you're not letting it? That's good, that's what we want in a swing. Do it one more time. Well, I think these are things that they can do, I guess, before they hit, maybe just to get the feeling of the right motions. Right, exactly. This, this uh, starts into their, uh, their motor, keeps their uh, swing working from the ground up and their kinetic chain in sequence.